Hernandez faces six felony counts of battery with hate crime enhancements. Now we've been covering these pellet gun shootings dating back to May, but at this point prosecutors say they are only charging Hernandez with three different incidents that happened on September 7th where six people were hit. These injuries uh, sustained by the victims include stinging sensations and red marks. During Hernan Hernandez's arraignment hearing, Deputy District Attorney May Owen detailed a string of gel pellet gun attacks. Police say the 19-year-old carried out last weekend in Hillcrest. It all started just before 10 p.m. on September 7th. Three people standing outside Hillcrest Burger Lounge were the first ones hit in the arms and legs. 15 minutes later, an Urban Mose employee was grazed on the side of his body. Body. Shortly after that, a couple walking out of Urban Mows was also hit in their torso area. They saw a silver sedan with the windows down driving past them and they heard the sound of laughter coming within the vehicle. Police use the victim's description of the car involved to track down Hernandez, saying evidence in the vehicle linked him to the attacks. Subsequent search of the defendant's vehicle revealed an X-shot gel blaster that was found in the back seat, along with hundreds of gel pellets. CBSA has been reporting on Pelican attacks in Hillcrest dating back to May. Surveillance footage captured some of those earlier attacks. At this point, Hernandez has not been charged in connection with those particular incidents. Prosecutors say they are still under investigation. As for the hate crime allegations, Hernandez's attorney argue his client did not know Hillcrest was an LGBTQ area, a claim Owen disputes. He was not aware that it was that kind of community. There's nothing that screams as a gay homosexual community. He has been a lifelong resident. He is aware of Hillcrest. He is aware of um, the various demographics of Hillcrest. Hernandez is being held on $30,000 bail. If convicted, he faces more than six years in prison. He is due back in court on September 23rd. Reporting from downtown, I'm Shanna Handy for CBS 8.